we're gonna have to treat our last topic as a quick fire. We got three minutes to discuss. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. out of time. All right, here we go. Truth, lies, shenanigans. All right, newsflash, Kanye West is no longer a billionaire. <laughs> Dude's been putting Ooh. out years of nonsense, ranch with his ex-wife's boyfriend, idiotic comments about George Floyd, campaigning for Donald Trump, mocking Black Lives Matter with a White Lives Matter shirt. <laughs> and even with all that, Kanye was never canceled and instead somehow became a billionaire. One of the richest men in the plan- on the planet, actually. At least one of the richest black men on the planet. Mostly because of his Yeezy, Ye- that Yeezy uh, clothing line. But despite all of his nasty comments, bullying attacks, his fans just didn't give a damn. He seemed impervious to uh, the cancel culture that we've got going on. But apparently, we found his kryptonite, Jews. <laughs> for some reason, he's been attacking Jewish people for months, even justifying it by saying it wasn't anti-Semitic because black people are the original Jews. But the straw that broke the camel's back was a tweet saying he was going to go DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. And almost overnight, he lost all those million-dollar contracts from Gap, Adidas. And that completely decimated uh, Kanye's brand. And on top of that, we got Kyrie Irving, uh, who decided to join the anti-Semitic bandwagon, posting anti-Semitic video on his social media. So my question to you, out of all this ridiculous stuff, Robbie doesn't want me to cuss, (laughs) <laughs> from Kanye and Kyrie, uh, after all they've said and done, what do you? Th- why do you think anti-Semitism was the thing that finally sent everything over the edge? And, and while you're at it, please explain to me uh, why Kanye's fans were setting up this GoFundMe trying to make him a billionaire again. All right, we got That's, like you just answer the question. capitalism. You just answer you get, the question. Get like one mi- one minute each. Go ahead, Lizzie. Celebrities <laughs> are. Celebrities are afforded different privileges than we are as common folks. Yep. You know, when celebrities, you know, because they have a following, they have a fan base, their fans continuously make excuses for their behavior. And especially Kanye. And, you know, it wasn't just a lot of people like, oh, well, black people, because there were a lot of Jewish celebrities who were asking black people to come out and denounce what he said. I'm like, we've been talking shit about Kanye for years. Y'all just didn't mm-hmm. listen. Black people mm. canceled him after that comment about slavery being a choice. After he mocked Harriet Tubman. After he said that black women need to want to look like Kim Kardashian. We've been telling y'all. Y'all mm. just didn't listen. And so, but it's a part of being a celebrity. Think of all of the celebrities who get in trouble and all of their fans who make excuses for them. So that's where it starts. That's where it starts. We afford celebrities a lot of leeway when it comes to bad behavior. Too much. Too Way much. Too much. Too much. Way too much. All right, Robbie, you're up next. 60 seconds, but <sighs> Why it's taken this long to get him canceled, I have no idea. It's like Liz, once you've got a legion of, once you have a legion of fans, um, I mean, it, fans comes from fanatical. So, I mean, they're just devoted mm. to this person. And mm-hmm. for the pores to turn around and say, we need to restore his billionaire status and start a GoFundMe, that's just stupid because <laughs> Kanye should be. Kanye should be trickling down hundreds of million dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars to you. Why? Because he has it and he can make your community better. So keeping his B instead of multiple M's, I don't get it. That's just stupid. Yeah, that's it's beyond me. Stupid. Yeah, that's 60 just seconds. So dumb. Um, to answer your first question, I think the reason that Con- Kanye is officially canceled is because, well, Lizzie was right. We Black people, we did cancel Kanye, but it's almost as if like we didn't come together. We didn't take it serious. I don't know. But Jewish people came together and actually, um, as a community, canceled him. And also they have, they do have a lot of power. And Fair. I think that I think that they were able to like cancel deals with him. I don't know Kanye mm-hmm. being pressure with people. an all black, yeah, like with an right pressuring people. I think too. Um, but to like to my point about black people canceling him and it didn't really 
taken effect. Look at R. Kelly, look at Bill Cosby. Um, people aren't publicly like praising them, obviously, where black people aren't like praising them anymore, but they, are they officially canceled? Are they still being supported by black people? The answer is yes. So yeah, that's how I feel. That's why Kanye was officially canceled in my opinion. Yeah. But you know who else they had didn't more power. cancel him very quickly? You know who else didn't cancel him until convenience? The Kardashians. <laughs> Kim wasn't True. talking shit about Kanye and all of his bad behavior until he came for her. Everything else was, yeah. okay, yeah. I'm fine with it. And she, she actually cool with supported a lot of it. She encouraged a lot of it. So yeah. it's not just us. It's the woman he laid down with. Never checked him until he tried to. Yes. Yeah. Eddie Boyega says, uh, Gianni, you're speaking facts 100%. Um, and it, and uh, Jacqueline Robinson yeah. kind of repeated what you said uh, because Jewish people value their culture and have enough sense to know that hate leads to their destruction. Us, we accept any level of disrespect, especially when it's open season on black women. Um, mm. Some people are so enamored with celebrities that they will send their children to a school open by said celebrities, even when the schools aren't even accredited. So even when he acknowledges that he doesn't read, he hasn't read a book since Jesus wept. Yet you're going to send your child to his school? <laughs> what, is Jesus. That? Jesus. what is that? What is that? What is that? You know, Trevor, <laughs> Trevor Noah made me laugh. He said, he said, why would you go to DEF CON 3? Because... The highest level is Death Con Five. <laughs> Why'd you only do three? <laughs> anyway, that's because he doesn't read books and he doesn't understand. Right, doesn't understand. <laughs> exactly. exactly. To your point. <laughs> All right. Is this true? Lies with shenanigans. Kanye. <laughs> oh, Kanye. I just want to be. Again. This Kyrie is a shenanigans. Man again. Get in Kyrie's foolishness. But let me just say this about Kyrie. All of you guys should have canceled Liar. him the moment he said out of his mouth that the earth is flat. We clear. <laughs> Y'all had thrown him to the wolves the moment he said that. Absolutely. <laughs> It's liar pants on Kanye. Artistic skill, liar pants. I know. <laughs> pants on fire. Creative. <laughs> One last comment. V on uh, on Instagram says, "Oh my God, someone uh, put a muzzle on him." <laughs> did, did I just say that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. not a muzzle. 